My name's Heather and I'm the external events manager at Theatre Delicatessen and I also use Theatre Deli as an artist, as a theatre maker. It's on the moor opposite Debenhams. Theatre Deli used to be Woolworths and that's, I guess, why it's so big. And Theatre Deli came in in 2014 and transformed it into the theatre space it is now. Theatre Delicatessen is a crazy, weird and wonderful place (laughs) it's a pop-up theatre so it's unconventional theatre really in a Woolworths where there's a variety of events that happen on a regular basis we have plays we also have music poetry crafts we've got a cafe in the front which lots of people come in and spend time in it's very warm and welcoming Um, it's family friendly we have a variety of events on there so we often have crafts a lot of drop-in things. We have storytelling. We've got a very wide selection of birdhouse teas. And it's just along with the whole whole building, it's kind of another experimental venture, really. But it's nice and big, and it's very welcoming. So it's a very safe space, I guess you, I'd say. It's somewhere which I think anyone would enjoy. And there's also club nights here. It's a building full of many, many things. It's a very creative space and it's all about experimenting. We've got a variety of resident artists. There's a really strong community around the space now of artists who've developed their work ever since Theatre Deli opened here and have put on a number of different performances. When Theatre Deli first opened, there was an event called Horror Souk, which actually I was involved with. That was the first event that took place here and the first thing that I was involved in and that was all over the building and it was a horror themed night of a variety of short pieces of theatre. That was just something so different for the city, it was very exciting and it was the beginning of it all so that was very memorable for me. We've had so many other really memorable events, I'm not just being biased but The Great Gatsby which is on at the moment has also been very memorable already and I really do recommend that to everyone out there because it's the biggest performance we've had on here. It's incredible. That's on for the whole of December, every night other than Sunday nights, and it's not on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or Boxing Day. But other than that, it's on pretty much every night, and it's from 7.30 till about quarter past ten. And it's upstairs. We've got an accessible performance, which is going to be on the 19th of December, though, which is going to be on the ground floor. And, yeah, it's a completely immersive performance, so you can interact with the performers, you can come in fancy dress, you can dance, <laughs> you can sing. It's also, though, it's very welcoming to all audience members. I know some people have been scared off by the idea of dancing, You're not forced to do anything. You can take part as much or as little as you want. It's very much about your own experience and what you want to take from it and how involved you want to get. Deli Meets is the first Wednesday of the month, sometimes 6 till 8, sometimes 5.30 till 7.30, depending on if there's a show going on. And it's basically a monthly event for people involved in performance-related arts in the city to come together to discuss their ideas, to meet different people, to find collaborators, and, yeah, just chat, really, about what they're doing. And it offers quite a strong support network for people who are starting out in particular and also just a place to come and tell people about your ideas and get their feedback back it's three pounds on the door and you get a free drink and free nibbles when I first moved to Sheffield I was constantly thinking where are all of these people hiding and I didn't feel I had a meeting place and then Theatre Deli opened and I suddenly met a few more people but I still found that I was struggling to just locate all those others so that's why I started Deli Meets just purely to create a time and a space for those people to come together and to meet each other Deli meets, you can turn up on the door. You don't have to come from 5.30 or 6. You can come a bit later if that works better for you for getting here from um, after work. And it really is very much open to everyone and anyone to come along. And you don't have to do any scary networking. (laughs) If you don't want to, you can just come and it's very relaxed. I'd say to anyone who hasn't been to Theatre Deli before to definitely get down here because it's a really exciting building and place for Sheffield I think Sheffield is a city of makers and this whole place is all about making new stuff and it's completely transforming the theatre scene here as well I mean it's a it's a fringe theatre it's it's got lots of really exciting new upcoming um, performances and companies so it's definitely somewhere to come and catch people and works of art right at the beginning of their exciting careers something you might have noticed now is it's very cold Um, I think that's 
possibly the biggest challenge. It's not a space built to be a theatre. It's unconventional, which means that we can create incredibly atmospheric productions, but it also means that it's very cold, it's very big, it's very hard to keep tidy... <laughs> Um, people are always leaving random bits of sets and props here so you'll walk into a room and you'll find a bed that someone's just forgotten about things like that can be quite difficult it's quite an industrial size to deal with so there's that and also it's just so busy all the time which is its greatest quality is we have so much happening all the time but it does mean that you know that can be a bit hard sometimes because it, it, we're a very small team I enjoy the fact that this is a place where you can just try anything I don't feel like you get that so much these days because there's so many constraints to everything, especially with all the cuts that are happening. This is a space where you can just try things. So I love that. And also just the community around this space is incredible. It's so great that we've got so many people coming in and out from all different areas of the arts. And it's just offered a home, really, for all those people to come together. The whole Theatre Delhi model is based on going into buildings which aren't being used and turning them into theatre spaces. And as the development across the road develops, <laughs> which is happening quite fast now, it's nearly there, that does mean that our time in this building is coming to an end. So when that happens, we're going to move into another building and we're going to make a new theatre. So it's good, we're not leaving... <laughs> It's not finishing, it's just going to be a new theatre. And that is what Theatre Delhi does. We've, got a, we've already had a few theatres down in London, so that's what's in the future for Theatre Delhi here. Yeah.